Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, back with more Subnautica Below Zero guided gameplay. We are picking up after I've gathered all the materials that we're going to need to make the parallel processing unit, and then we'll use the parallel processing press parallel processing unit to make the test override module that we need to complete the mission that Meta asked us to do. So we're going to go to electronics. There's the parallel processing unit, gold, silver, ore, and a table sample. Now we just need to figure out where the test override module is right next to it. Uh, the PPU, titanium, lead, and copper wire. Great. Now I can go into my PDA beacon manager. No, not beacon manager. The blueprints unpin all. And let's get this test override module out to Delta Station and switch off that satellite. Or switch off the receiver that is getting the info from the satellite. I wish I had the um, the afterburner to use here, but we don't. And I'm kind of running out of voice logs to play for you, too. So maybe we'll sing a song as we go along. No, I don't know any good songs. You guys sing. All together now. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, you're really good. Oh, I, I like this song. This is nice. Okay, we're almost there. Thermal spires dead ahead. Oh, rats, the sun's going down. That's all right. We can still complete our mission, even if the sun is down. Hi, cryptos. <laughs> nice parking job. I'm a good parallel parker. No, really. Let's get up to the tower there, uh, this way. Hi, Termals. Did that look like something was glowing red on the ground there? Is that just, okay, that's just the thermal lily light. We're coming for you. We are coming to override your tests with our test module. If I were hungry or thirsty, I'd take this opportunity to get a bite off of some shrub nuts, but we are none of those things. I guess the sun wasn't really going down. It was just a bit of a storm moving in, but we're fine. Our temperature is fine. Let's go up there and get this done. All right, uh, uh, satellite surveillance active. We want to deactivate the satellite surveillance using the test override module. Connect it. Great, now back to the terminal. Great, good job connecting that test override module there, Robin. Did it good. We've still got some temperature to play with here. Let's see if we can do this all in one shot. Enter test mode. Do it. Please work. We did it. Wait, we did. Did we do it? We did it, right? Yes. Satellite is down. Okay. I am impressed. Test mode active. That was most resourceful. Why, thank you, Alan. It felt resourceful. Thermal Lily, give me some love. Give me some of your warm loving. All right, great. Um, now that we have completed Meta, that's what we were waiting for. Let's answer. All right, Altera. You win this round. Come find me at my greenhouse. I'm about a kilometer east of your position up on an iceberg. I have a present for you. I'll come by if I have time. <laughs> sure. Whatever. If you have time for me in your busy social calendar. What? She, what? She doesn't know what my social calendar is like. I may have lots of plans this weekend. And visiting her at her greenhouse may not be one of them. Uh, okay, but yes, I was standing there on that cliff facing east. 
just because that was where she... Oh, what a beautiful night. Oh, the Aurora's gorgeous tonight. Uh, because she asked us to visit her at her greenhouse, which is a kilometer east of here. So I was just looking east for a second. But and, and now I'm completely turned around. Okay. As I said, there are places to explore down in here and things to do. We haven't fully explored this island. And I will leave that to you because it is fun. What were we getting a scan off of? Oh, the blue scrub brush. Uh, let me put my flashlight back in so you guys can see what we're doing. Nope, wait, that didn't work. There we go. Okay. Yeah, explore this island fully. There's there's interesting stuff to see and do here. Even if it's just interacting with the peng penguins on the other side of the island. Okay, we're back. Yeah, just to point out that that's another beacon that you can pick up and repurpose if you want instead of building your own. But it, it's a useful beacon. Having the, a beacon for the Delta Island is is good. All right, so shall we head right out a kilometer east and visit Meta on her greenhouse? It, at her greenhouse? Yeah, well, on an iceberg a kilometer to the east. It's actually more like 1.2 kilometers, maybe even 1.3 and you can use that Delta Station beacon to gauge your distance from... Uh, that is a Chelly that's after us. Did you hear that scream? Well, it was after somebody. That was Crypto. And uh, so she said a kilometer east. It's more like a kilometer, almost a kilometer and a half, kind of southeast. But it's, it's more east-southeast. Still, it's unfortunate that we're doing this at night because this was is, would be a lot easier during the day when we could see these things. Of course, the weather's not great either. But we're, we're getting up on the icebergs now, so here are some icebergs. And let's see how far we are from the Delta Station beacon. Yeah, we still got a ways to go. We're only 660 meters away. Lily pad biome. Off to our right here. The occasional ice flow with penguins on it to our left. I'm sorry it's nighttime, guys, and there's not much to see out here except a squid shark down there. But let's, let's try, I'm going to try to stay near the surface so that we can get our bearings when the time comes. It, it, we may have to wait until daybreak before we can actually find this. It, it can be a little difficult to find, even when you know when, when you know what to be looking for. Now, that is definitely a major iceberg, but I don't think that's the one we're looking for. Let's see what this looks like from the surface. Oh, wait, that might be it. Hold on. Let me let me pop out so I can take a better look. Um, I don't see the greenhouse up there, but I see some lights and a, an archway, a cavern there. And then there's a light, a light stick on that ice flow over there. So that looks like a very good... Uh, I was just checking the power cells to see how much power we had left. We still got more than half our power left. But yeah, that looks like a good candidate for checking out. Oh gosh. I wish it was daylight. Okay, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Hey, Panacarids. We haven't actually seen a Panacarid yet, guys. Let's give him a scan. No, come back. Yeah, play with us. You used to be able to ride these guys. They would drag you along with them. You could hold on to them and, and they'd drag you around. They're basically seals, you know, multi-legged seals. I think they look awesome. I wish we saw more of them and they played a bigger role because they're they're one of the more attractive creatures in this game, in my opinion. Very nice. Okay, uh, but yes, we are here at an island and there's a big archway here with light sticks in it. 
and heat fruit plants, which we have never seen before. A fevered pepper tree. They used to be called heat fruit. Let's pick up some of those. Those will keep us warm. Take a quick look if you've never encountered these before. Body heat, plus 34. Food, plus 15. H2O, plus 15. Now we're going to follow this. And there we go, there's Meta's greenhouse. Now let me give you a direct distance and bearing back to Delta Station Dock. It is, it would be east, southeast of here, uh, 1200 meters. I mean, it's, it's west northwest of us. I'm saying you travel east southeast to get here, almost 1200 meters. Okay, hey. This place looks just about as beat up and well taken care of as Meta's base. Big surprise. Frost vase plant. Pretty. Keeping an eye on our temperature here. Uh, I think you can cut these for samples. Yeah, let's, we'll plant some of those back at base. They're pretty. Just see what else is out here. Nothing much. We've already got scans off all these things. The honeycombs. All right. Uh, Meta, we're, we're here. Meta, I hope we don't get pounced by the snowstalker again. Meta. Damn satellite hasn't passed by in a while. I guess that was your doing. Sam's not the only one in the family who knows, knew, what to do with vague directions and old wire. She was an original, that sister of yours. First time I met her, I was sure she was Altera through and through. Not a crease in her uniform. Sending those damn bird bots to spy everywhere. Thanks. Then, she surprised me. Maybe a little too much. Meaning? If you really want to know, there's a PDA on the bench that can point you in the right direction. <laughs> you need anything else? Don't bother me. <laughs> but you can help yourself with Greenhouse. The least I can do to repay you for getting those spine pests off my back. All right, so she said, help yourself to the greenhouse. And that's what we're going to do. But she said there was a PDA over here that we might want to access. So let's do that while I get a bunch of scans. We'll listen to this. All right, Marge, old girl. We hate this greenhouse. So here are some pointers to remember so we never have to do the worst parts again. Too bad you can't fight malnutrition by hunting it down and killing it. So first thing, insulation. First few nights, the soil was rock solid. Ended up having to insulate the damn place with dehydrated kelp. Adding a thermal mass helped too. Heat from barrels of water. Probably should have just eaten the damned kelp. But nope, my body was craving a salad. Wish I was just made of exosuit. Next, grow lights were a must have. Gotta admit, I felt pretty proud of my first full crop of lettuce. Fed half of it to Preston. That snow stalker will eat practically anything. Even lettuce? Always spits half of it out, though. Another thing we have in common. The we'll bring one of these home. Makes good compost. Okay, cool. Well, here's another PDA that we'll listen to as I complete my scans. I've already synthesized an antidote and stashed it in a cave. I can go grab it and... That's your plan? You don't think it'll work? <laughs> You're thinking too small. Like, maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. Destroying the bacteria? do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on! Is a bacteria a threat, or isn't it? It is. <laughs> does it need to be dealt with or not? It does. It does! He's right on this! You I are! Am. I am! Say it like you mean it! I am. I said, like you mean it! Not like you're testifying before a rigged transgov court! I am right. Then what you got to do is seal off the whole cave. I've got just the stuff. Made it for fishing, but it blew the whole ice shelf halfway to deep space. What? Seal it, it off with explosives? Okay. And you got to hit the lab too, or there's just no point. Actually, you know what? Let me take care of that one. It'll be fun. All right. So Meta is advocating basically eco terrorism here. And Sam appears to be going along with it for some bizarre reason. Let's scan Marguerite. You can look all you want, 
There's more to Marguerite than any damn fangled gadget can see. Yeah, like the willingness to blow stuff up if she's not happy with it. Why does that not surprise me? All right, we got a lot of good stuff in here, including samples that we're going to bring back to base. Uh, we got the plant pot. We got the, the indoor grow bed. We got a Chinese potato skin, and I'm bringing one home with us. We got a shrub nut that we're bringing home with us to make to plant for ourselves. Small marble melons and large marble melons. Now, I ate the large marble melons, and we're going to bring two small marble melons back with us because, obviously, the small marble melons are smaller, so they take up less room in your inventory. We're also bringing back a couple of those heat of the fevered peppers to plant once we actually get a base going. And that is probably going to be the next thing that we're going to want to do. Um, our search for... We're slowly piecing together. I don't think we need to. Yeah, we can dive down. We're slowly piecing together what happened to Sam. Um... And eventually, we're going to want to pop out to the standby second, go to my databank, maps, Altera facilities maps. Uh, uh, she was working out here. So at this point, we've been to Delta Station, and we've been to Marguerite's greenhouse, which is out here. And then we've still got to visit Coppa Mine, and we've got to visit where Sam was actually working, which is out here on land in the Glacial Basin at the Phi Robotics Center. So that is going to be our next on the agenda. But in order to get there, we're going to want to do a little bit of preparation. We're not going to just want to go rushing back in there with no no prep. So I think we're going to want to put together, a, start putting together a base, upgrade all of our stuff, maybe build a couple more sea truck modules, like a storage module, maybe a fabricator module, so that we can go back there fully kitted out and ready to wreak havoc or whatever. But in that, in one of those things, so Maida was advocating for blowing up something, a, a cave somewhere, right? And then she said, and then there's also the facility that we have to take care of, but let me take care of that. I know how to handle that. Uh, that facility, one of the facilities we have not visited yet is the Omega facility uh, omega lab out here in the lily pad biome so i think we're Move going on in nearby iceberg detected a hollow chamber typically formed by glacial melt okay a hollow chamber in the in the yeah that so that oh man these hold on look look at that iceberg isn't that beautiful oh, that looks cool Oh, these icebergs all look great. I just wish there was more of a reason to visit them. There is a reason to visit another one of these. I'm not sure which one it is, though, because there's there's something to scan there. There's an alien artifact that would be cool to actually see and scan because... Oops, 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 oops. The more of these alien artifacts you scan, it, it unlocks stuff for you to use. So maybe before we go looking for Omega, let's see if we can quickly and easily find this other one. Eh, I don't know. This is going to be tough. Especially, I mean, now that the, the weather has kicked up, we got a little bit of snow out there. It's going to be hard to find. And I'm not really sure where it is. I've stumbled across it. Every time I've found it, it's because I've been looking for the greenhouse, and I've stumbled across it, so I don't really know which one it's on. Looks like maybe the weather cleared up a little bit. We should be able to see it from the surface of the water. It's a, a large alien thing ripe for scanning. Oh, sorry. Oh, That couldn't have been good for the truck. We're still at 93% health though, so. Hello, glowies. These are brinicles, which are dangerous. You don't want to get too close to them because they're super cold. But another thing that we can that I see here that we haven't encountered yet, let me just see if I have any, any room in my inventory, yeah, are these fruits, which are really good. Frost anemone hearts. 
And these are really good for you, too. They give you a lot of uh, plus 10 food, plus 20 H2O. Good way to stay hydrated on the move. Mm. Yeah, all right. Our food and water is topped off now. I'm going to take a little damage from our Brinicle. Yeah. Super cold. I'm just looking around, trying to gauge where we are to see if I can figure out where that... Oh. I don't think we're going to be spending all day looking for that alien piece to scan because I think the sun's probably getting ready to go down now. Oh, and the snow's kicking up. And there's a chelicerate chasing us. Okay, now... Finding Omega Lab is never easy. Even for someone who's familiar with this stuff. So let, let's... Excuse me. Let's find the lily pads and let's see what we can do about finding Omega. Alright, we're in the lily pads now. And... The way that I find it is to stay up near the surface and look for four lily pads in an almost perfect square. Now, this may or may not be it. I don't think this is it, actually, because there are six lily pads in a formation here. Yeah, this is not it. I'm looking for four. The most success I've ever had finding this is not down at depth, but staying up here near the surface and looking for an almost perfect square of lily pads. I'm uh, pretty sure this is not it. Yeah, let's, that's not it. Let's keep moving. Let's stay up near the surface. These are... There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Yeah, don't say. Okay, we are there, guys. I'm not... We, I kind of stumbled across it. I just want to show you what I'm looking for when I'm out here looking for this. It's these four lily pads. One, two, three, four. In an almost perfect square holding up this big piece of rock. Unfortunately, now there's going to be stuff in here for us to bring back. Unfortunately, I've already filled up my inventory a little bit out at Meta's. Okay, so there's what Meta did. She blew this up. Great work, Meta, you terrorist. Let me just see, is there anything I can dump out of my inventory? Why don't we eat an old fevered pepper? That'll give us a little bit of room. All right, that's enough. An antenna plant with antenna fruit in it. I bring these home to plant just because they are, in my opinion, the most beautiful plant. They don't do anything. You can't, well, you used to not be able to eat them. Oh, okay, you can eat them now. A little bit of health, some food, a lot of food, and a little bit of water. Well, that's nice, but I just think they're beautiful. So I bring some back and plant them. Uh, you can plant the fruit, but you can also cut them for samples. Yeah, that's how you plant them, is to cut them. You don't plant the fruit. So why don't we eat one of those? Okay, and I'm going to get a full tank of O2 before we go in. And then we got a data box over here. What's this? Swim charge fins. Oops. Omega lab. Lots of stuff to scan here. Here's a bulkhead.
another data box with a control room blueprint. I'm going to scan this beautiful aromatherapy lamp because I want that in my base at some point. A water filtration machine. Very important scan if you're into that kind of thing. Of course, we have the still suit blueprint now. So putting one of these in our bases is not imperative. All we got to do is make that still suit and wear it and we'll be fine. We won't have to worry about water ever again. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track. We'll come back for this PDA. Some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Yep. Lab equipment was damaged to the point yep. of blew it up. Nuclear reactor. And all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to Power determine cell charger. whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10-meter radius. Okay, uh... Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. So the person we were just listening to, that was the investigator assigned to figure out what happened here, Alexis. And she just basically ran through what we kind of already knew from talking to Meta, which was that an explosive charge was detonated here from a distance. And blew this all up and hopefully cooked off all the Kara that they were... Oops, well, we don't know that yet. Hold on. Uh, there's another PDA here. And another one in the other one. That, oh, Tom Gilbert writing. <laughs> the last remnants of Tom Gilbert here. Makes absolutely no sense at all, but it's really good writing. Tom Jaber was the original writer for the game. Probably something to listen We've to here. We studied the first Kara bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment, resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original pustules. Pustules? We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Okay, so Danielle was telling us that we are working, they were working with Kara here. Which is kind of alarming, because we know how incredibly deadly it is. We could trust them that they were taking the appropriate precautions, but apparently Sam did not trust them. Beautiful framed art that I'm going to bring back with me. Oh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm afraid. That's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <sighs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. I need oxygen. I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Kara, but Vin, is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder. <sighs> right, fine. Fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Kara bacterium from the frozen Leviathan here in this lab? No. Oh. What, what makes you I say that? I need to. So that was um, Sam and Danny. I mean, that was not talking just then. That was the picture I just showed was Sam and Danny. I challenged your spy pengling to a foot race earlier. Because you got tired of losing to me? I think Ouch. we got everything here, right? <laughs> what if I've been letting you win so I could see you smile? Cute. But I don't believe it. There are easier ways to make someone smile. Easier than losing a foot race? Oh, I think you're a woman with many talents. What are you implying? The artwork that appeared in my lab the other day. Oh, that. A study in Parhelion Red. I assume you had something to do with that. 
That depends. Do you like it? It's beautiful. Like the person who gave it to me. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were flirting with me. Do you know better? I don't know what I know anymore. Not when you're looking at me like that. Aww. They were flirting. That's so cute. All right, I think we covered pretty much what, what was happening here, right? They were doing experiments on Karath, Karath that they found on an alien creature, frozen alien creature, out in on the, the land portions, the glacial basin. And Sam found out about it and was not very happy about it. And when she encountered Marguerite, um, she found that there was maybe a way for them to actually do something about it, other than, you know, going to the authorities and trying to get them to stop by legal means. They decided to blow this shit up. Kind of a strange decision for a scientist, but whatevs. And we got a lot of really important scans off of there. We got the water filtration plant, we got the bulkhead, we got the nuclear power plant. Uh, we got some other important stuff that I'm forgetting right now. And then we got, the, we got that beautiful flower to plant back at base, the antenna flower. Again, another aquarium module. We now know how to make the aquarium module. And we'll make it at some point after we finish the whole story. Hi, Glowies. I love being out here with the Glowies. You're so handsome. I wish I could give you a better way to find that Omega base. It's really just kind of luck. Because there, there are indicators, like this big power cable could kind of lead you close to it, but it's not going to lead you right to it. And now, I think, having met with Marguerite at her playhouse, her greenhouse... And having discovered Omega Base, I think that's enough for one episode. We're going to go back now, and I think we're going to just do some more exploration. We, we want to get down and check out Kappa Mine just to see what's down there. And then we got to start building up our base. So why don't we call it an episode here, and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. There'll be more coming in the next episode, Kappa Mine, and maybe start building some base. Stay safe, survivors.